Characteristics of the management. Okay, features of management. Management is a goal oriented. Every management targets to achieve some goal. Without any goal, there is management cannot be formed without any goal. Every management has their result, uh, targeted result, their desired result, their predetermined objective, what, what, where they want to reach. So management is universal. It is found everywhere. If you, school, college, university, uh, football, cricket, any games, any sports, any musical institution, any office, at home, army, police, everywhere without management. Because without management, everything will go jeopardy. It will not go systematically. Because management is a, has a process. It has to follow the sequence step. So that sequence has to be followed. In every organization, whether this organized small or big or medium scale organization, but we have to follow the particular process steps sequence. That can be done only by the management. So management, is, uh, that's why management is a universal. Management is a group of activity. Just now, we have, I've already explained what is a group of. There are, there are many many people working in the man management. So this group of people has different responsibility duties and. and so skill knowledge so these these people are working together for the common goal so management is a system of authority it is a system of authority because it has to follow the certain instruction the workers the employees do not do whatever they like they have to follow the system they have to, the system which is given by the author the authorized person will guide them authorized person will show them the track what to do what not to do in this, there is a rule that there is a policy that they have to follow. There is a chain of authority, authority one after another. A has to follow B, B has to follow C. A is the highest authority. Below A there is a B, below B there is a C, C below C there is a D. So every there is a sequence, there is a chain of command that has to follow. So that's why there is a system of authority. They cannot do whatever they like, they cannot go wherever, wherever they like. So they, they cannot do whatever they want. There is a blueprint that has to be followed in a sequence order. So in this way, management is a social process also management is a management it involves getting the things done with the help of the other people so many many people are working here so they combine together they they work unitedly it's a social process because many human beings are working here so as a social uh, process they work together unitedly and to achieve the result so in this way, man management involves getting things done with the help of the other people to achieve the desired result manager has to direct direct and regulate and coordinate the efforts of the human being so in this way human factor is an important and indispensable part of the management without human being no management can run so in this these are the uh, features of the management as per the whatever the points are given in the book, you can more elaborate with this. This, this is a uh, function, uh, features of the management. Now let's see the uh, other topic of the management is, management is a, uh, features we have finished now, of management, yes, what are the objectives of the man? objectives of the management? Objectives of the management, the objectives of the management are the main what object what is the main target objective objective here is profitability management must ensure that inter business enterprise organization can earn a sufficient sufficient profit to meet the various need of the organization because there are so many expenses that expenses should be covered by the profit only the farm is a business organization is not earning profit the business organization the management is failure so profit, so help profit on that helps to cover all the expense of the business organization. So, so that helps to make the best. So profit uh, covers the every expenses and it uh, and uh, it also give a satisfaction to the owner. So he can give a good salary to the workers. The salary, uh, good salary. Uh, payable to the work in bonus increment can be given with the help of the this will boost the energy of the workers so this will make more uh, uh, interest to work so this will create a sense of working it will bring an enthusiasm the mind of the workers so that is profit that is the money if the money is not on if the profit is not on so that means uh, 
whatever investment is done by the owner that has become waste, wasted. So in this way, profit can profit can be earned when the manager make best use of man made man money material and machine machine and other resources. All these man material machine method money all this has to be utilized properly to earn the profit. So the main objective of so this uh, is the objective of management to earn the profit but profit can be earned by utilizing all those man machine ma ma material method so they, it has to be utilized properly so there is a prosperity of growth so management aims at continuously improving every management aims to improve their from a small farm, they want to become a very multinational farm, multinational company. So this can be done if there is a good management. So management should aims continuously improving the performance of the organization. It creates the environment in which people give their best organization. Because of the management, the people can the people can give their best and and they can work together because of the management so that the business organization can go, it can have a, have a prosperous life. So change and innovation also because of the this nature, the business man, the business market is changing. There is no, no every time there is a changing in the changes the business. People have different different uh, choice, different habits, different. We have that we have learned in the business environment. When uh, it is a dynamic business environment is dynamic. So according to the dynamic changes, business environment the dynamic. So according to that business management has to also react with that. So business should, business management should be innovative. They should create new new things that are like that are that can satisfy the change demand desire of the uh, consumers. So management should always challenge to fulfill the need of the um, consumers by uh, creating new innovating new new ideas new. Uh, new ideas to uh, con convince, satisfy the consumers. So in this way, there should be a regular research and studies development in the management. So this is only in the management. So there is a development of people. There are many, many people working here. People are the most important thing, human being here. Management helps to uh, ma management, utilize all these best talented people uh, into the to work them in the best way. So it should uh, seek to develop human talent by encouraging them initiative, skill and technical competency. Management is the duty of management to encourage them, to initiate them, to give them training, knowledge, skill, so that they will become more competent, so that they can do the work more properly. So it, it should provide the employees opportunity for training also, participation in the management. So it, create, it should create a man, uh, healthy environment in the organization. It should also, there should be also a discipline and moral. So management aims to improve the discipline among the people in access authority and assigning responsibility and introducing the procurement of evaluation and control. So in this way, the management should also teach the uh, discipline to the employees. If there is no discipline, no organization can successful. So discipline is also one of the very important objective of the management. So that discipline improving the discipline of the uh, people so that will create a respect the uh, seniors and the elders so there's, there will be a very healthy cordial relationship with one another the juniors and the seniors it ensures a sense of achievement and higher moral by creating and maintaining a better work environment so in this way there should be discipline and work also moral also that free decision making management decision making is essential part of the management Management has to take a very good decision, very uh, fruitful decision, so a very quality decision. This can be done by the management only. The quality of decision often determines the future of the enterprise. So if you take a very good decision, that will determine the future of the enterprise. The success of the enterprise depends upon the quality decision. And this then will be taken by the management. The manager should be expert, but there will be just a very good discipline. So that's why the right decision will make the business a very high level. So in this way, improve the image also. The image of the organization depends upon the quality of management, the manager, the workers, the employees, so their product, their behavior. So if the manager is good, the employees are good, they are well disciplined, well mannered. So there is a good quality product, behavior is good, the product quality is very good, so that definitely that will 
that, that, that will make the image of the organization a very good. So, this is what business management has to see that good management always attempts to build and maintain a sound image of the organization. So, in this way, another is last one uh, quality goods, quality goods at a fair price, quality goods at a fair prices. So, this is another last objective of management that every management wants to produce a good quality goods at a very good prices. The price should be low and the their main aim is to produce very good quality goods and the cost of production should be reduced less. So management aims at providing product at a better quality at reasonable prices. The aim of the management is to produce good quality goods at the less price. So in order to do this, manager try to eliminate all the kind of wastages thereby reduces the cost of production. So manager what he has to do? He has to, he has to try to avoid all the wastages so that the cost of production will come down. So in this way manager can create a serve the community by reducing the cost of production producing a good quality good at a cheaper price. So this is the objective of management and there is a let, this is the last topic here importance of management importance of management for number one achievement of group objective the group objective should be the group because management there are many many workers here many employees are there but their works their target their their designation their job nature of work may be different but they are working together to reach the common objective of the organization so whatever resources are there man man, man machine materials uh, all this should be uh, this resources are, these are the resources of the organization man material machine money these are the resources and this is whatever are the resources all these resources should be utilized in such a way that there should be no wastage of resources so that resources should be utilized properly optimum level of utilization of resources there is no wastage of any kind of resources so that the goods can be the production can be achieved so without any eliminating without any wasting the resources so it means that resources should be utilized up to the optimum level so minimum cost the cost should be reduced so is the objective also we have discussed that the business uh, the management should aim to produce the goods at a low price and quality goods but not only cost should be less but quality should be high and the cost should be less this should be the aim of the management so this is the importance of man management always try to improve the quality of the goods by and reduce the cost by eliminating all kind of wastages. So this is the importance of management and survival and good management. Always they try to put, produce good quality goods at a cheaper price. In this way, the, there, if the goods are produced at a cheaper price, there is mass sale. Good sale means the people will be satisfied. There is a more uh, profit. That mass sale means more profit. More profit will be. That means that will be more development in the uh, business management. So workers will get more salaries. The owner will get more profit in this way. The success of the, the it will be the it it will make the business to survive more and more. There is growth and prosperity of the organization. So it will, the business will expand. So in this way. Management always try to, uh, management modern business always operate in a rapid change environment. Business is a dynamic nature, environment is dynamic. So in this way, business always, management always try to uh, adjust with that change environment by supplying the good quality goods to the societies, consumers. So whatever threats are coming that are again eliminated by the good management. So it will increase the higher standard living because management not only uh, for management is not necessarily only for the businessmen but it is also for the whole society because people are getting the good quality goods at a cheaper price. Many many people are getting the job opportunity also here. Society people are getting the good quality goods at a cheaper price, lower price. First, this is the benefit for the society also so management is also for the society people are getting the good quality goods at a cheaper price that means it will increase the living standard of the people people are getting the jobs in the organization 
because when the organization and business sectors will increase, there will be more job opportunity for the young generation. So that will also increase the living standard of people because people are getting employment. So in this way, this will increase the job standard of the people by give, supplying them good quality goods at, at the lowest possible price. So another is generation of employment opportunity that also I have discussed that because of the uh, management, good management, the goods are produced at less price, they are high sale, because high sale means that the business will expand, business will grow, so they, that when the business will grow, business will expand, there is a door of opportunity will open for all the young talent, talented, general, talented youth, people will get more and more job opportunity. So this is the blessing of the good management that they give the opportunities to the young generation to work in the business organization. So this will create more and more job opportunity, employment opportunities. So it is also for develop, develop, development of the nation because when there is a more good quality produce, more, more sale, government will get more taxes. Uh, when there is a more quality product, it will go to the, we can also export to other countries. Our uh, negative balance of payment will become favorable balance of payment. Our GDP will increase our NDP, national domestic product will increase, I mean our GDP will increase. So this is also the, the development of nation, we can improve our technology, uh, our te te technologies in this sector also. So this will, this is also the development of nation. So these are the different, uh, important, there are the, these are the importance of the organization business management. So this is, this much only in this chapter also, meaning of the management in the different sense, uh, the features, characteristics of the management, the objective of the management and the importance of management. So this much for today. Thank you.